Hi guys, I'm gonna show you today how to assemble IKEA Kallax unit. That's the one here. You have it in white. It's one of the smaller ones with the four departments inside. And I get it in different sizes and shapes with the doors or drawers. In this case, it's white with the four departments. Let's do it now. And we have bottom panel. It's gonna be four screws, two on each side. Just place them in, prepare the panel and connect it with the side panels. Watch out where is those holes. You see where I'm holding the hand from inside. There is two holes where we're going to put L-shaped bracket. which is going to attach the unit on the wall if you need. So far as we secure this L-shape with the two screws. So that's the bottom panel with the side panel. Now we can place the middle dividing panel, small one two wooden plugs on one side, place it in, tap it all in, make sure there is no gap between, this is the dividing panel on the middle, long one, two wooden plugs on one side, place it in and secure it in a, with, secure it in a side panel. Two wooden plugs is going through the dividing panel to the small panel under it and the top dividing panel small one connecting on those two wooden plugs which we just did. Two wooden plugs on the top of the small dividing panel and we can place the top panel. And we secure it with the two long screws. It's gonna be two screws on each side. For now, just two on this side. Now we can turn it around, place two wooden plugs in a dividing panel. And we can place the top panel. Now watch out where is those holes where the where the L-shaped brackets for the ball fixing gonna come, there it is, that's the ones. So we have them this, on the same side, on the bottom and on the top. You see, they are there, exactly the same on the other side. Okay. Now we can secure the unit with the two screws from the side. Just two long screws from the bottom panel to the side panel. And exactly the same on the other side. Just two screws for the side panel, for the bottom panel to the side panel. And that's it. The unit is done. You can get this unit in different sizes and a color combination. This is a sticker. If you have wooden floors, it's very useful so you're not scratching the wood or you're not scratching your floors or the units. And this is the L-shaped brackets I was talking about those holes, so you have them on the same side. Just secure it with the two screws and place the plastic. If you're not gonna attach the unit, there is like a washer you can place it in, so you're not gonna lose it later on if you decide to attach the unit on the wall. Just click it in. I can take it out if you need easily. Exactly the same on the other side. I'll shade bracket with the two screws. Just secure it with the two screws. And you can put the washer into plastic and just click it on. It looks better if you even if you don't attach the unit on the wall. And that's it. This is the one. So you can get this unit in a different sizes and combination colors as I mentioned you can have uh, doors on it or uh, drawers you can position the way you like it very flexible system hope you enjoyed the video guys if yes thumbs up subscribe to my channel as always you will make my day it helps a lot thank you very much and see you in my next one very very soon thank you for watching have a great day
gonna show you today how to assemble one bed. Uh, let's say <laughs> Dressing table. Brimness, extending bed. Brussel bedside, yoke monk table from Ikea. Lievik double bed. Brimness of jelly extendable table. Is it from Habitat? I call noise pork. It sounds like a size side. Mickey desk from Ikea. Yeah. The kids, small wardrobe. This mantle, Ikea Pax wardrobe. Pax wardrobe with a hinge. Door. 